Supply chain, well, it's as old as humanity. Supply chain began when humanity began. When you think about it, it starts with the manufacturing and the distribution of the necessities of life. That's how significant supply chain is, and that's really still why it exists today. We certainly saw it during COVID when some of the necessities of life were falling under shortage, right? So supply chain really is about serving humanity. At the same time, you can't run a supply chain without the generosity of the planet. So you think about supply chain in those contexts, in service of humanity, at the generosity of the planet. You know, 30 years ago, supply chain wasn't cool. In fact, if you wanted to repel somebody at a party, you just have to start talking about multi-echelon inventory optimization, and somebody would walk away from you. But today, I think people realize just how vital supply chain is and how strategic it is. And so we've definitely seen a giant shift in interest. The other thing I would say that's changed quite a bit over the last 30 years, we're coming off of what I, I would describe as a mad obsession for accuracy. You know, this idea that we could build the perfect plan and the perfect supply chain. We've spent three decades focused on it. Post pandemic now, people are realizing the new competency that people need is agility. Now, this is not an indictment on the pursuit of accuracy, but people have come to realize that the real magic is in the speed to detecting when you're off plan. How quickly do you know you need to course correct? This is where we're seeing a pretty monumental shift in technique. In fact, the governance model for supply chain is shifting away from what I would describe as a waterfall approach, this cascaded approach to solving supply chain challenges to one that is fully concurrent. Concurrency is one of the big advantages that Kinex has brought to the market. It's a differentiated technique, which is about the synchronization of demand and supply. In the same software, all your users that plan and manage your supply chain can see the demand and the supply changes concurrently at the same time. And that's very important because it enables more agile decision-making. Supply chains, you know, have gone through an incredible number of disruptions, pandemics and hurricanes, and it's been extremely critical to be able to not wait for hours and days, you know, with sequential planning until you get to make a decision. The benefit of a single platform is about the fact that your users are not caught off guard by any of the decisions or any asymmetry of information. It is shared across instantaneously and all users are in the same platform. It really enables better decision-making, better agility and better resilience. If you look at our supply chain setup today, we're talking about more than a thousand suppliers delivering different parts into our factories. That's a very complex process because these parts need to arrive almost on a minute basis exact. If we stop the factory for five days, I need 60 football fields of space to store all the material. So that's physically not possible. Once the car is then ultimately produced and we produce a car every 45 seconds, then it is uh, from an outbound logistics point of view towards the compounds in the countries, either by ship or by train. Where this supply chain can break is the fact that it's not all centered around, you know, five kilometers radius around the factory. It's a global supply chain but at the same time with a very high complex content with many parts, with many suppliers, which is why technology like Kinexus will help us to make that process more transparent and easy. The transformation of the supply chain today is in many ways exciting. First of all, the unknown, and that of course makes it for a lot of people difficult and challenging, but at the same time exciting because you need to be prepared for the unknown. That requires resilience, so the flexibility to respond and speed. And I think that's where technology can help us a lot and also the connexus like solutions to not to predict the future, but if events happen, that we can anticipate much better how to act and react on those events. One of the key aspects on why we want a connexus solution is to help us simulate the what-ifs. It's difficult to predict the events that are happening in the world, 
So if they happen, it's about the response speed on how you then have to act and react and the consequences of those, let's say, alternative decisions and scenarios. And this is where Kinexis will be very instrumental. Kinexis has been an innovator for the longest time. 30 years ago, Kinexis brought in memory computing to supply chain, making a major breakthrough in supply chain technology. And today we're co-innovating with major clients to bring artificial intelligence to supply chains, to bring optimization and to bring the combination of all of those while empowering humans, our users, who are at the center of the supply chain. AI is increasingly important. It's a very fast evolving technology, which has been deeply transforming supply chains and which will impact its future even more. In fact, the biggest cost reductions in supply chain have been seen where AI has been applied. It is something that will be a change in paradigm. We're seeing also the use of ChatGPT, more and more assistance that is being provided to users of softwares all across and supply chain is certainly at the forefront of the application of AI. I haven't had a conversation with a chief supply chain officer recently that didn't start with them saying, I need to leave it better than I got it. What got us through the last 30 years may not survive the next three. And many of them are realizing they have to be part of the solution. We are now moving into a governance model that is far more concurrent, where everything and everyone is inextricably connected. There's no notion of optimizing one chain link at a time. You are now optimizing for the entire ecosystem of supply chains simultaneously. People have asked me, what is the likelihood that manufacturers around the world are going to adopt concurrency as their governance model? And I answer the same way every time the entire industry is moving in this direction, be equivalent to me asking, you know, what is the likelihood people stop licking stamps when the internet was born? 100% people are gonna start moving to email. Well, in supply chain, I'd say 100% of manufacturers are moving to concurrency.